Now, looking at this next set of questions, we have what we've got here is the mod function, which calculates the remainder after the integer division has been carried out. That's important. Just make a note of that, all right? So we've got integer division that's been carried out. Mod xy computes the remainder when x is divided by y. For example, mod 13 for 3 equals 1 since 13 divided by 3 is 4 and gives you the remainder of 1. What is asking here is what the co-domain of the mod function is. Now, don't make a point of writing down the actual answer such as 1 because that's a common mistake. What is ask actually asking you about is for you to make sure that you know the difference between a domain and a codomain. Now remember, I'm just going to write this down here, all right, that the domain, all right, the domain is a set from which the functions inputs are chosen. So in this case, all right, the domain that's gone in has been an integer, all right, a natural number, okay? It's been a natural number in this case. So because the domain is natural, we're expecting the same because it has said remainder after the integer division has been carried out and it's told, to, uh, told us our number there. So realistically speaking, we know that mod is a function that gives us a, sorry, I'll go back to the question. Mod is a function that gives us a whole number when it's output. Therefore, the data type for the codomain as well, given that it's a whole number, would be natural numbers. So when you see questions like this, if it's saying what is the domain or codomain, it wants to know the data type, it, all right? So if, for example, you were working with decimals, it would be a real number. But in this case, we're working with whole numbers, therefore they are natural numbers, all right? So we're now going to move on to have a look at this here. Now what I've got here is double and square. There are two more functions that have been defined as shown x is the parameter and then we've got 2 times x for double and x times x for squaring it. Now this is combining these functions together but just so you know what they would look like because some of you may think that that little circle there is a mistype. No it's not. It's what we use to combine our functions. So what I've got here realistically would look like square, all right, double, three. So that's what it would actually look like. So what's the double of three? Six. What's six squared? 36 would be your answer there. All right. Now, the last question on this section of questions asks you to explain the purpose of reduce or fold. All right. Now, I'm just going to give you an example of how fold works. We've got fold one. Sorry, I'm going to call it fold one. And in brackets, I'm going to put plus. You have a starting number. I think it's better if you can visualize it, then you can start to get your question right. Five, four, three, two, one. So I've got fold, so zero, this is the function. This is what we're going to do to it. This is the operator we're using. This is our starting number. And this is our list. Now the way that reduced slash fold works, all right, is that it will reduce a list of values to a single value. 
Now, if you have a look here, this would be adding each of these numbers starting at 0. So 0 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 would be 15. That would be your final single value. So what it would have done is reduced a list of values to a single value. In this case, this would be 15. All right. The other thing, you're looking for your sec second, second mark. We have our combining function, all right? So we have our, by apl applying a combining function. So what's happened there is you've gone through each of those items in the list. You've gone through each of those items in the list and then using your function as an argument, your, your combining function, okay, you are able to create a single list, sorry, a single value. So 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 by using this operator here. That would be our starting value. So if it started at 1, we would have probably ended up with 16 or we could start with a, a list. But we reduce the values to a single value by applying a combining function. That is the next set of those questions. Thank <clears throat> you.